Darkbert is based on another AI made by S2W known as Bert. Where Bert was trained on surface web content like Wikipedia and books, Darkbert was trained using data from the dark web. But why would anyone train an AI using data from a place like the dark web? And how would this AI even behave? You'll want to stick around till the end for this one. Darkbird is different from other AI in the fact that it was trained on dark web data. But why was it trained on this data in the first place? The company that made Darkbird specializes in cybersecurity. They're experts in dealing with cybercrime threats. And keeping an eye on the dark web is very important for that task. But their previous AI, Bert, wasn't very good at understanding dark web content. So they came up with Darkbird. Darkbird ended up outperforming other models when it came to interpreting or monitoring data from the dark web. The difference was as small as a few percent at times, but certain tests yielded an increase in F1 score of about 25% or more over other models. But why is this so? Recent studies have shown that the vocabulary used on the dark web differs from that used on the regular internet. Because investigating the dark web requires analyzing its material, having language models created exclusively for the dark web can provide researchers with significant insights. The dark web is a section of the internet that search engines like Google cannot locate and it cannot be accessed with a standard web browser. To access the dark web, you must use specialized software like Tor. Tor also conceals both the client's and the server's IP addresses. This allows the dark web to be a place where people can be anonymous. It's also difficult to access and control the dark web too, as a result. Unfortunately, these aspects make it easier for cyber criminals to conduct illegal activities and share illegal content. Because of these reasons, the dark web is notorious for being a location where cybercriminals may hide, but it's also considered a haven for those who wish to dodge censorship and express themselves freely. The anonymity of the dark web makes it difficult for users to determine if a website is real or not. Fishers use this uncertainty to deceive consumers, because these websites are a one-to-one -one copy of the authentic version. They're virtually indistinguishable. So bearing all these factors in mind, you can understand that it might be difficult to keep an eye on the dark web. S2W has done previous research on the dangers of these sorts of fraudulent activities. They've taken a look at the language used in the dark web as well. There have even been attempts by S2W to use language models on the dark web before, but they didn't work that well and their effectiveness has been questioned. So that's where Darkbert comes in. S2W has a track record in providing cybersecurity ever since they were established in 2018, and their latest AI, Darkbert, has been accepted for publication in top-tier conferences, so it's a big deal. S2W has been providing a data intelligence platform to both public and private organizations. They help deal with threats like drug trafficking to high-tech crimes like cryptocurrency and ransomware. But Darkbert aims to solve a key problem, and that's to help automate tasks that require expert knowledge of what companies are dealing with. Darkbert isn't like ChatGPT, which is a general-purpose AI model. Darkbert is a specialized AI model that's specifically trained for cybercrime investigations. The team behind the AI refer to it as a skilled cybercrime analyst with years of experience. It's not a generic AI that knows a little bit of everything. Having an AI like Darkbird as a part of your company's team will significantly improve the quality of intelligence produced as well as the productivity. Darkbird has already proved its effectiveness through official peer review. They just have to implement it, and the developers have already started creating some applications for it to show how effective Darkbird can be. One of those is threat detection. When it comes to cybercrime and cyber threat intelligence, threat detection is one of the most important things because the sooner you can detect a threat, the earlier and faster you can respond to it. This results in the threat doing less or no damage. And even though everyone knows how important this is, companies struggle to do threat detection properly because of how challenging and complicated it is. Cybersecurity is a constant back and forth between threats and safeguards, like a virtual version of an arms race. If you fall back in tech, you're going to suffer the consequences. Unfortunately for us, cyber criminals are quick on the draw and adopt early technologies as soon as possible, making it really important to quickly figure out and prepare against any new tactics. That's why staying up to date on the latest AI tools is crucial for your own security. Now, S2W already has a threat analysis platform that can help with threat detection, but it can be made even better with Darkbird. 
especially for small businesses. Small businesses can perform competent threat detection without the need for their own security team. Businesses won't need to hire more and more threat analysts as they have to scale up their company and face more security threats in terms of size and complexity. Darkbird is the main AI engine that can be used to create a suite of well-trained cybercrime analysts. It can understand and analyze information gathered by S2W's platform, meaning it could assist or even replace human analysts in the process, helping businesses with scalability and cost issues. S2W is currently working on creating and testing AI cybercrime analysts that can figure out if a piece of data has any threatening information on it, what type of threat it is, who the target is, who's behind it, and how critical the information is. They've even shown us a screenshot of the Darkbird application. This one is specifically trained to deal with data breaches, an issue that 45% of U.S. companies have to deal with. This example is configured to detect data breaches present in the public sector of the U.S. The application will tell you which ones are urgent and should be looked at closely. Other applications include ransomware leak site detection, where confidential information is held by a ransomware group that threatens to publish it online unless they're paid. This crime occurs on websites known as leak sites. Darkbird can help find such websites automatically. But that isn't all. S2W has more research projects in the works that use Darkbird, like an undercover chatbot that talks to cyber criminals for investigation or a cybercrime predictor that can use complex calculations and statistics to determine when a threat is going to occur. Darkbird was pre-trained on 2.2 terabytes of data from the dark web, but doesn't that mean it used potentially disturbing and illegal content to train this AI on? There's also the potential of using sensitive information that's present on the dark web, creating the risk that this AI could learn something it shouldn't. So to that end, the researchers took a couple of precautions. Past research showed that these AI couldn't easily extract sensitive data, but even so, they filtered and processed the data they extracted from the dark web to train Darkbird. They censored and hid any types of sensitive information or text that could be used to identify people. This was to address any ethical concerns regarding the data used in training. Not only was this done for ethical reasons, but there was a lot of filtering and compilation of data for practical reasons too, like removing low information pages and duplicates, and sorting by categories. Getting data from the dark web isn't easy, and even if you manage to capture a large amount, a lot of it can be unsuitable for training. This is because the dark web is an extremely diverse place in terms of vocabulary and structure. So they wanted to create training data that represented the place properly. Darkbird's training was started with the AI model it was based on, known as Roberta. Roberta was created back in 2019, and it seems to be an underdog in the AI space. Its full potential wasn't realized back then as it was severely undertrained. Now developers like S2W are taking full advantage of Roberta. The benefits of Darkbird over its Surface Web counterparts is obvious. Darkbird has the potential to revolutionize the industry of cybersecurity as we know it and can help make protection easier and more effective than ever before. Let us know what you guys think about Darkbird in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more AI news in the future.